हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई बट रफी माई यूट्यूब चैनल इज बट रफी इज लेक्चर सो टूडे माई टॉपिक इज जेंटल वॉट जेंटल वॉट इज कॉमनली कॉल्ड कैंडलूमा एक्टर कैंडलूमा एक्टर इट इज द सेक्यूली ट्रांसमिटेड डिजीज यू ऑल नो दैट एस टी डी STD stands for sexually transmitted disease. Sexually transmitted diseases. Sexually transmitted diseases. If we define the STD, sexually transmitted disease, the disease which are separate, the disease which separate. the disease which separate by sexual contacts by sexual contacts with infected person with infected person the disease which separate by sexual contact with infected person are called the sexually transmitted disease for example sexually transmitted diseases are genital warts genital warts and second is syphilis third is aids acute amino aids stands for acute amino deficiency syndrome fourth is gonorrhea fourth is the gonorrhea fifth is hepatitis b and Sickness is chancroid. Chancroid, C H C H S C H A N C R, chancroid, and chlamydia. Chlamydia is also sexual disease. Trichomonas. These are the etc. These are the sexually transmitted. These are repeat this. The disease we call with the study sexually transmitted disease. Diseases which are transmitted separate by sexual contact with infected person to normal person are called the sexually transmitted disease. I have already told you that example of sexual disease are AIDS, AIDS, syphilis, gonorrhea, hepatitis B, genital warts, trichomonas, chlamydia, chlamydia. These are the sexually transmitted disease. So today we will discuss the genital warts. Today we discuss the genital wart. You all know that genital warts they are commonly called candeloma accumulator. Candeloma accumulator. If you go for causes or cause of this disease, this disease is caused by this disease is caused by. caused by human papilloma virus human papilloma virus papilloma virus in short we write hpv if we write hpv you understand it is human papilloma virus hpv stands for human papilloma virus so this Disease is caused by human papilloma virus. It's a viral disease. If you go for transmission mode of this disease, transmission mode, how it spread, how it trans, how transmit from one person to another person, from infected person to normal person, we will discuss it. It spread through sexual intercourse. It spread through. Separate through sexual intercourse. Sexual intercourse with the carrier who may even asymptomatic HPV, human papilloma virus, can also be transmitted through mother to child, baby mother to baby during childbirth. This important. Most of people infected HPV. HPV stands for human papilloma virus. Have no symptoms. They have no symptoms. Some people. 
You all know that what occurs in the moist skin of the gentle around the anus. Our growth, a fleshy our growth occurs on the on the venous, vagina, anus. If you go symptoms of this disease, this disease is called say Adama head. It is sexual transmitted disease. Hai. If you go, most people in here have no symptoms. Both are looking for symptoms, many hai. But there are, but this virus increase the women's risk for cancer of cervix, cancer of cervix or pelvis related. It is characterized by appearance of the warts on the genital organs. What on genital organs? Genital organs means organs like penis, labia, around anus, vagina and on the cervix. The what very appearance from tiny bumps, tiny bumps. What the what from tiny bumps, the what very appearance. Tiny bumps to large muscles, to large muscles. HPVs, human papilloma virus, are now associated with cancer of cervix. About 92, about 92, 95 percent is risk, risk. Cancer. About 90 to 95 cases. And tumors of the vulva vagina and anus. It produces a ward over the skin. And the skin it produces a ward, outgrowth, fleshy outgrowth, skin, external genitalia and perineal area. They may aggregate, they may aggregate. In women, what may enter the vagina and cervix. Most of the time, there are no symptoms. Most of the time, symptom is not appear. Symptom is not appear, and virus kill it on soon. Virus, virus, virus complete the life cycle and and go and clears on its own. But several types can cause gentle warts and let the vaginal inner throat and cervical cancer and itching around the anus, itching, itching of vagina. Second burning sensation, second burning sensation is, is the center. If you go for the this uh, uh, prevention, prevention of this disease, you all know that prevention is better than cure. We should always Prevent. We should always be conscious, conscious, aware about any disease. Avoid prostitution. We should not go to the prostitution centers, finish activity. Use condom at the time of intercourse. If you feel that there is sort of disease, sexual transmitted disease, you should always use condom at the time of intercourse. Avoid multiple sexual partner, multiple sexual partner, homosexual and heterosexual. And these are the Prevention. After that, we go for treatment of this disease. You all know that any disease, any disease, we feel the discomfort, disorder of the body, any deviation from normal life is called the disease. Then we go for the medication, go for the doctor. So, what can be removed with drug candlelights? or freezing with the liquid nitrogen. Laser surgery is also available. Treatment with the alpha interferon is the method. And also the surgical removal of the, which you remove the ward surgically through cauterization, this constitutes the treatment. There is no cure, no special cure for HP infection. Although antiviral modification can reduce the outbreak and tropical preparation can speed healing one can take virus can stay with that person for life also so these are the this this, this is this is the gentle war concentration you go concentration HPV human papilla virus is extremely common and there is no general test for the virus there is no general test for the virus 
and many forms, although there is no cure of the body, will usually clear the HPV infection on its own also. So, today we, this is the short topic, gentle warts, cause of gentle warts, how it causes, name of the virus which causes this disease, transmission mode and prevention of this disease, treatment and therapy of this disease and, and, and this already I have told the transmission mode of this disease. So dear students, I have completed this topic, rest is okay, thank you all.